All right, you guys, so today we're going to compare the differences between a Kenner Tyrannosaur, which is miraculously standing up on its own without being supported by its tail, and a Mattel Tyrannosaur. All right, this will always be number one to me, at least that's how I always saw it. It was my favorite growing up, and if you want to see my full review on this, just check it out on Hard Croc Reviews, right here on YouTube, and look at the Jurassic World slash Park playlist, and I have all my Jurassic Reviews on that playlist, and this guy is in there. It's in one of the later ones, because this one was, wasn't one of the first dinos. And if you want to see my review for this one, also go to the same spot. So it's very easy to navigate my other channel. So, uh, size-wise, this guy is much bigger. You can see it's taller. And has its own look. Mainly because this one, color-wise, is a lot more accurate to what we see in the film versus the red rex which is what this guy is known for or a girl whatever you want to say although this is what it looked like in the book it described it as having black spots and reddish brown skin so mattel is putting sound effects to their dinos now and i really like the sculpture of this very, very accurate. But I like this as well. This is pretty close. And I love how this is rubber skin. This is what I really like. I am a sucker for rubber skin and dino figures. More than I am the hard plastic. Because, uh, you know, rubber just seems to be a little more collector friendly. It's more kid friendly too. This is pretty close too. Not a bad representation. Yeah. So it's, it's taller, it's bigger, it's, it's, uh, I think it's longer, let me see. Oh yeah, it's definitely longer. It's taller, it's longer, it's rubber skin, and I love rubber skin. This guy is just hard plastic, but it is way more accurate than this one is. But, you know, it was, it was Kenner, you know, and Kenner is an old company, went out of business in 2000, and Hasbro took over, and it hasn't been the same since. And on certain parts of the floor, it's more willing to stand up than others. With sound effects, this one is way more accurate. Okay. Trying to get the other sound effect to go. I don't know why it. So the sound effects are way more accurate. It looks like it's almost the same thing. One thing I'll say about this this particular one, guys, is the head is really big. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, this one has sound effects. I think they put in this guy before the movie came out, so they didn't really know what it was going to sound like. You know, so this, it's pretty different, but, I mean, it works for me. I mean, you never know. If we were to actually see these guys for real in real life, it might have actually made that sound because they use elephants and alligators and lions to make the sounds for this guy in the film. So those are the sounds that this brings out, whereas this one, it kind of makes more of a screech than anything. It's less loud. It's old-time electronics. What I like about this one is it also makes a stomping sound. Very nice touch by Kenner. This one doesn't make any stomping soins, but it... Soins? You can listen to me. It makes uh, these thrashing noises, I guess. That's it. And then it just...
In terms of their look, I think they're both magnificent. I really like the accuracy of this one, and I like the detail, and I like uh, just everything they did with this one. This one is just unique. So there we go. There's the, both of them. There's the oldest, and there's the latest. That's the Jurassic World Dominion Thrash and Devour Rex. It's a lot darker than most of them are from what I'm seeing. Much darker in color, you see. But on the back of the box it says the color and decoration may vary from model to model. And from what I'm seeing, everyone else's review of this guy... The dino is way lighter and it has stripes rather than just random spots here and there. But this one is a little more reminiscent to this one in terms of the decoration. But, yeah. They are both amazing. Also, this one has a more straighter tail. You can see where it was bent so that they can get it into the box when it came out in 93. Versus this one, this one was all one piece. Of course, it's smaller than this one, so. <laughs> this one just has the mouth open already, and see, it doesn't take very much to knock it over. I think this is a variant, and the reason why I say that about this one is because, check out the feet. You know how there's always inscription on both feet? This one has it. On one foot. Not both, but one. The left foot. And I don't know why that is. But I think that makes this thing a rarity. Maybe a scarce one. I've never seen one with writing on one foot. It was one of the main reasons why I bought this guy. Plus, I did need a new one. The old one I had when I was a kid didn't work. So I went ahead and uh, got a new one when I was... Uh... in my early 20s so yeah I think they're both nice very nice both very good renditions of this animal the Rex is my favorite animal and that is <laughs> that is what I named my channel after Rex rant so I just like to rant about the Rex all right guys so hope you enjoyed this little comparison you can articulate both both models' arms. This one makes the arms much bigger and more muscular. Uh, this this one right here is known for having arm problems. And sometimes they fall out, but if it's if it should fall out, it's very easy to put it back in. Don't worry about breaking it. Just hold on to it with one hand. Take your other hand with the arm and stick it in the hole about as far as you can go, and just twist it. Twist it around until you hear a pop, and then it'll pop back into place. They are both in kind of a walking stance. This one, the right leg is forward more than the left, and on this one, it's the other way around. So, some things didn't change. I love both of them very much. All right, guys. Uh, this one in the store is over 40 bucks, and this thing is at least $150, if not more, if it works. So there's a big price comparison. But if you're a big Jurassic fan like I am, I would definitely invest in this guy. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. So I will catch you guys in the next one.